さん。イネさん。Father! Stay back, Mule. For the last time, where is the mirror? I've no intention of telling you. Cherry tree. <laughs> Do you remember Chao Sun Ming? Chao? That's the name of the man you killed in Moon Swoon. It can't be you. Get up. I'll allow you to die like a warrior.
keep friends. Those you love close to you. Uh, no. Father. No! Sensei. Son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you alright? Mm, yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. Mm, yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fukusan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. Thank you. 
Dear Ryo, Those who follow the path of a warrior must be ready to die. In order to stand by their convictions. Live for one's convictions. Die for one's convictions. That is how I lived my life. Ryo, it is up to you to discover your path and follow it through. My father must have known that Lan Li was coming. While you're still sleeping in bed, farmers are working hard in the fields, carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? Okay, I'll eat them. Keep your balance. That's right. <laughs> now listen. Tighten up your abdomen. Straighten up. Find your center of balance. Yes, like that. Son, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh. The man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits? Catch the names? I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. 
Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san! Why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san! Where are you going? You're not going after them! Please, don't! Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei! They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. That boy you fought with, what is he to you? A friend from school. And what is a friend? Well, a friend is a friend. That's right. Just as a parent is a parent, a friend is nothing other than a friend. But listen, Ryo. Parents often die before their children. Oh! That's the law of nature. Uh, uh. Friends will be there for you even after parents die. So treasure your friends. And friends you can trust are true friends indeed. Understood? Mm. I can't reach it. There's nothing unusual about this. What's this? What's this doing here? Hi, Megumi. Uh, you got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But... Mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Ah. 
she they don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Do this, so it's easier to eat. Hmm? Wow, she's eating! She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait! We gotta think of a name for the kitty! Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, Dio! Bye-bye. Excuse me? Yes? What's this name, plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady. Ma'am, I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you now. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakuragaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe, if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well I'm glad to hear you're okay.
Hi, what can I get for you? I have a question for you. Do you remember the day when the snow changed to rain? Yeah, I remember. Did you happen to see a black car? A black car? Oh, hey, that reminds me. You know that girl over at Ida Florist, yeah? You mean Nozomi? Yep. She was spitting mad because some black car splashed mud on her. I don't know the details, though. I see. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you, Annie? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. On that day, the snow changed to rain. I heard you were splashed with mud from a speeding car. Yeah. What kind of car was it? It was black, and the kind of luxury car you don't normally see around here. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. those men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. All right, man, I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green. Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Ajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much. Apologize to Enoki-san. Or maybe I'll just beat an apology out of you. I don't have time for this. Get lost. That's it. Your history. Yeah. That's it. Damn, you're pretty tough. I don't have time to play your little games. Yes, I I'm sorry. You don't mess with me again. Got it? All right, all right. Uh. 
Practicing the move named Pit Blow. Uh, for my first three years here, Sensei had me practice only the basics. One must know the fundamentals to reveal the essence. As my father used to say. Yes, but... But Sensei is no longer here to teach me. He's gone. And I still have so many bad habits. Say, Ryo-san! Would you mind showing me the right way to do it? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll go first. Take a look at my form and let me know what's wrong. As I take one step forward, I tense my arm, then strike. Out! Oh. Focus on. Uh, I'm okay. You're real, son. Can you show me how to do it right? Sure, but I'm not as good as father was. That's great! Your moves are so smooth and powerful. Completely different from mine. My father and I trained for a long time. Sensei always told me that this was the most important basic technique. So, would you like to practice some more? No, that's enough. Really? Well, if you ever feel like sparring, just ask. I'll be here. Thanks, Fukusan. She's going to be fine. I think so too. Have you named her yet? Not yet. Do, do you have any ideas? Let me see. How about Mimi? Oh, I get it. Because her ears are 
so cute. Uh-huh. Mimi. Magashi-san. Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. What move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques. Just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? Please teach me. Well, there's no time like the present. I'll teach you right here, right now. It's a move from Kobujutsu called Double Blow. I'll show you the footwork first, so watch carefully. Take one step forward and build up your energy, then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. This is the double blow. Now you try. First, quickly shift your weight forward. My compliments. You mastered it with so little instruction. You are truly a Hazuki. Your father would be very proud of you. No, I'm still... But even so, that was amazing. The double blow was developed during the 16th century. It's a very powerful technique, and if done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Do you want to practice some more to make sure you've mastered it? No, I think I've got it. I see. Really? All right. Perhaps you'll be fine. Keep at it and good luck. Yes. Thank you very much. Someday, I'd like us to drink sake together. Me too. I look forward to that day.
Nozomi. You doing okay? Yeah. Have you heard any new information? The men who argued with Tom were from China. China? Did they have anything to do with what happened to your father? Yeah, so I want to try and get some information from some Chinese people around here. Who do you think I should ask? Hmm. Let me think. How about Ajiichi? Across from Hattori Sporting Goods. Good idea. See you later. Tao-san. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please, is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up. So you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampukuken Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So, I should go and speak with Maeda-san. Itoi-san and Man Pukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Um, yes. Itoi-san, do you know about the Three Blades? Who told you about that, son? I heard it from Tao-san. I see, I see. That's why I'm looking for Chinese people that are members of the Three Blades. In that case, I suppose you could ask Liu-san. Liu-san? That's right, over at the Barber's. I see. But Itoi-san, how do you know about the Three Blades? Years ago, I was Chinese. Now, I'm a naturalized Japanese. In China, my name was Su Jianmen. Is that so? Thank you. See you.
you, son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki san? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So, Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is... My father's 80 years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the Soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. Looks like they're about to close. Um, are you Dio son? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Ajiichi's Tao son suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah. You know of the Three Blades. I know it refers to the three professions, barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards, protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors? About Landy, I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel, or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. Honey son. Hi, Nyo. Do you know any places where sailors like to hang out? about a bar. A bar? Do you have any idea which bar they might hang out at? The bar I know is MJQ Jazz Bar. MJQ Jazz Bar? Yeah, they play decent jazz and I like the atmosphere. Okay, I'll give it a try.
Um, yeah? What? Are those people sailors? Who knows? Why don't you ask them yourself? But don't start anything. Got it? Okay. Got a minute? Hey! The kid's saying something! Are you guys sailors? Mm, could be. Hey, kid! How about a game? Game? You sink the ball in one shot, you win. And I'll answer your questions. But you miss, I win. Buy me a bourbon, okay? You're on. Just have to make the shot, right? Try your luck. Unbelievable, man! The deal was, I make the shot and you tell me what I want to know. Are you guys sailors? Nah. We're base workers. Them broke sailors drink at the Heartbeats Bar. Heartbeats Bar? Hey, let's bet again. Come on! Get out of my way. What? Go home! Oh, hey, you! Welcome. There you go! Milk's perfect for a schoolboy, I'd say! <laughs> Are those guys sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off! You little punk! You looking for some of this? You stupid! That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out. Can I have this? Yes, 
Thank you very much. This is the Scroll of Secrets. My grandfather said read this in practice and you'll become stronger. very much. That's a very difficult scroll, but to those who practice martial arts, apparently it's quite valuable. Can I have this? Yes. Thank you very much. You seem very enthusiastic. I'm impressed that you can read such difficult writing. Can I have this? Yes. Thank you very much. That's a very difficult scroll, but to those who practice martial arts, apparently it's quite valuable. Can I have this? Yes. Thank you very much. You seem very enthusiastic. I'm impressed that you can read such difficult writing. Looks like they're about to close. Luo-san, you're home. Oh, hi, ine -san. I was worried because it was getting late. Don't worry. I'll always be home by 11 o'clock. I do not wish to nag you, but... Yes, I understand. to be a hand move. Looks like a leg move. This looks like a strong move. It appears to be a hand move. Looks like a leg move. Looks like a throw move. Judging from the pictures, it's a throw move.
I'll do this tomorrow. Thank you.